And then, and then all of a sudden they said, everybody's off, get off this highway, go down this way, down into town. Then they started blocking everything off there. And so you got corralled onto yes, Front Street. You yes. started on Honopilani Highway. Yes. And you ended up on Front Street. Yes. Couldn't go anywhere. They just said, go north, go north, go north. And then when we got on Front Street, the embers were coming over the buildings and landing on our vehicles. And we're all in a line trying to get to the end of Front Street to go north, like they told us to, not knowing that the police blocked off the end of Front Street so nobody could move. All of a sudden, nobody could move anywhere. So all I did was try to inch my way over to another yard and drive up through a, a, a sidewalk, come back around, and then I went. The cops were moving around one exit. So I ended up getting up on the highway, even though they trying to direct me another way, and then I hightailed it to home. So you basically had to climb up on sidewalks and go against what the cops were telling you you could do. You, to had, to, you had to break traffic laws, essentially. Basically, yeah. We're almost to the end of the meal. We're, up, we're almost to the, to the smokestack. Oh, we made it. We found we're going to line on the road now pretty soon. But we're gonna, oh, somebody's down right there. Who? Somebody's down right yeah, there. Yeah, somebody's down. Just go that we cannot do nothing for her. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh, bro. Just go that. Just go. Oh. We cannot do nothing for her. What the fuck, dude? Just go. Go, people, go. Beat the word, dad. Oh my god, bro. Oh. Yeah, beat the word. Just Damn. go. Oh. She. Yeah, I know you can't see. By the time we got to Safeway, that's what was behind us. Wow. So you went north. We went north. Was there down power lines anywhere oh, on the yeah. highway? Everybody was so stuck. The cops we had, had no idea that the road was stopped and they wouldn't, let, stopped nobody and they wouldn't let us move. And I'm looking in the rearview mirror and the sky is getting blacker and blacker in my rearview mirror. And I'm like, I got out. We were stopped. I got out. I beat on his door. He said, you scared the crap out of me. I was like, you see that field? You see that field? If they don't let us go, you drive this fucking van right they, through that goddamn field that used to be ocean us. because that fire is coming right now and we're not going to make it. That's how all those people died because they wouldn't let nobody go. But why wouldn't they let them go? It's because they're down power lines. Yeah, that's the reason. They, so, couldn't, like, they, couldn't, the go, they couldn't go around the power lines? Yeah, the power lines can't... They just drive right through the goddamn pipe. They weren't lit. There was no electricity. The power was out from the day before. Right, right. There's so there's no, no power in the lines. Well, but, it was that morning. Because we were trying to look at the length of the poles. They wouldn't cross the whole highway. There should have been the lanes. There was enough room that you could have gone underneath. Right, right. Oh, you got pictures of it. I wanted to drive through there. So what, what direction are we but looking they, at? Like, they stopped the traffic so right is that, is that going what, north. That's Kapuna Kea right there. That's Kapuna Kea. And they, they would not let people move. So how did you guys eventually get your car out of there? We ended up fighting our way through the parking lot. Creep through. A police officer came off the bypass here. And so the traffic we the lane ourselves. that was supposed it was to go. Coming down. We forced ourselves we forced our two lanes in. and forced our way out of the parking lot. I Whoa. wouldn't get off his bumper. I did not care about the rules and the laws of who you're supposed to stop and let the next person go because we got separated before. Uh -huh. And I'm not going to get separated. Oh, you guys in separate cars? Yeah, I was in oh. one van, he was in the other van. Help us! Oh, send your angels! Yeah. Look! Guys, Why guys, start praying. Lord! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No, we gotta get out or something. There's nowhere to go, the fuck? The car! The car! The car! We have to go! We have to go! We... Oh no! Oh no, guys! No, we we have to leave! We have to leave! We have... No, there's a car behind! This is a disaster. Water. Fuck this I went to uh, Safeway late because the wind was blowing so I knew it wouldn't be able to leave that night and electricity was off and it took me about an hour and a half to just get some orange juice and so it was about four o'clock and I went out and I saw the fire and it was, you couldn't even see the gateway because it was covered with smoke and everyone's standing around just looking. And I said, I think we should get out of here because of the speed of this wind. It could be here in two minutes. So I went around back to Front Street and there were all the cars were lined up, but none of them were moving. And I walked all the way from Safeway to the chart house. Not one car had moved. And I was wondering what was stopping the traffic. Well, it was a policeman. And I got to the end and I looked up north. There were no obstructions. There was no reason to keep those cars there. Are you Serious? I'm serious as a heart attack. And I, I said, what are you doing? He goes, well, I'm under orders to keep them here. And I said, the fire is, is right around Safeway. It's going to hit Front Street. You know, these people got to get out of here. 
And he said, I'm following orders. No way. And I, so I just kept walking. I, well, maybe he knows something I don't, you know. So, And I keep walking down the highway, and I look behind. No cars are coming out. I walked all the way to Waikuli Beach. Still no cars coming out. And I started hearing boom, boom, boom. And then I heard people screaming and stuff. You're saying they were blockaded in by the police at the end of Front Street? Yeah. Like where the restaurant is? Right, where the chart house Where was. the chart house was, I should right. say. They, there was a blockade there and they could not go any further. Right. I walked, what the I, hell? I walked all the way from Safeway to there. Not one car had moved. And people walking in front of me, the people in the cars are saying, would you like a ride? And they're going, oh, okay. And they'd get in. They asked me, I go, no, you better get out of here. You know, it, and, uh, but they were just, well, we were told to evacuate by car. I, I, okay, so I just kept walking and I got all the way to, uh, like I said, the Civic Center. And then I started hearing all the explosions and there was no one walking behind me or on bicycles or anything. And I just. Dude, that is unbelievable. Oh my God, I can't see anything. We're surrounded by fucking fire. Oh my God, and lines. There are power lines everywhere. I just gotta get out of here before we burn to death. Fuck, I'm so scared. Oh my God, like everything's on fire. Looks like. Oh my God, I've never been so scared in my life. I think, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh, I'm so fucking scared. Yeah, it was just backed up all the way to Front Street, and uh, we were debating on going left or right on Front Street, and we we went right originally and then parked our car at this children's church. I think it's called Children of the Rainbow. Dude! Milo, <laughs> put your earbuds in. It's gonna be fine. It's fine. The firemen are right here. It's just... Wow. Tried to run up and out uh, to head north. Um, but that was totally blocked by just falling things, debris. Milo, we're trying to get there, honey. I can't. We're fine. There's something in this traffic. Oh no! Don't say oh no. It's gonna be fine. The, the firemen are right here. They're not yeah, gonna let. They're not gonna let anything. No. Oh. So we ran back, got in our car, and tried to drive left on Front Street, and it was just totally blocked up, and no, no cars were moving. I just can't freaking see. Yeah, just, I, I hey, just... just put your phone down, I'll video. Okay, we're moving a little bit, that's yeah, good. that's good. Well, now, now we're, I got out of the danger stuff. There's another engine. They're not letting anyone up. We're just trying to get out. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, fire truck. It's all you. Let's get them, boys. <laughs> it's freaking nuts. Now we're out of Here, it. We can see now. Okay. I can't believe that. It was Holy. like black. That was crazy. Wow. Ooh. We're good now. Yep, we're good. We're out. Damn. That was, that was intense. That was a little scary for a minute. Oh, shit. The road's closed. We go straight. Oh, this poor guy has to direct traffic. Oh, 
Oh, wow. There's another engine. Let's go. on the corner chugging a beer. I respect it. It'll be all right. The fire was on our street. Yeah. It is on our street. Yeah. It was right next to our car. Right. Could have reached out and touched it. Our, that, the guy in front of us jumped out of his car and started hitting it with his slipper. Yeah, I saw that. That little, uh, like, uh, dead grass area that has that little pillar up on it, that caught fire really, right. really I fast. I saw it. It was like, boom. Yeah. We should have brought the fire extinguisher. Mm. I didn't even know we had one. It's under the sink. I don't know which way to go. I guess just keep going away from the fire. Yeah, yeah. I don't really think it matters. Both sides, to the left and the right, are on fire. White smoke starting to come, which means the fire is starting to die out. <laughs> Fucking scary. Good luck. Look at this. Holy shit. This is a nightmare. I don't know where he's going. Probably to block our street. They're going to fucking barbecue all these people down in Lahaina. We're all trapped down in here. They're blocking off all exits. And everyone is just stuck. Going in a circle in a fire pit. Parking lines directly up there, I ran. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, these power lines above us are really freaking me out. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, you can feel that heat, huh? I want to report your passports and all that. Okay guys, this episode is going to be about things that melted, melted glass, melted metal that show just how intense this fire was. And I have a lot of footage of this. Really it shows better on the ground. Drone footage doesn't show this very well. But what I saw on the ground was a lot of inconsistency from one car, from one neighborhood to the next. Uh, it was definitely a very intense fire. I've seen a lot of people commenting that when tires catch fire, it melts the aluminum wheel that's normal but I'm not sure if I buy that because the tire has gone in every case but sometimes there's a lot of the wheel left and sometimes there's no wheel at all and it's just run into the gutter like water so I don't really understand the inconsistencies here I don't pretend to be a fire forensic investigator so anybody who has an explanation for this I would I would love to hear it but what I saw was significant differences from one neighborhood to the next from one car to the next and but in almost every case some of the aluminum had melted a lot of cases the entire engine block had melted and it was just sitting as a puddle under the car the windshields had melted a lot of times the car glass was at the, the glass from the windows was actually melted down into the street into the gutter as well so definitely a lot of intensity. Uh, this is in Front Street here that I'm showing. And Front Street, there's by far the most clips of Front Street because it's famous and a lot of people came down here. But it's not even close to the most intense place that I saw as far as heat and, uh, and, and, and melting stuff goes. I mean, when you look at the, the wheels on Front Street, a lot of them are, are intact. But there's places in neighborhoods where there is no wheel at all. I mean, it's melted down to the brake calipers uh, there and, and the studs. And you can just, like you can see here, I mean, that, that wheel just melted away and ran into the street like water. So this is something that really struck me when I was walking around initially. There seems to be a huge emphasis on ensuring that the media and anyone else can't see what's going on here in Lahaina, West Maui. There are miles and miles of this black fence going up that was not here before. 
that is obscuring ground zero and making sure no one can see what's going on inside of there from the road. No one can get in there. No one can take any pictures. And then I've also seen these weird foreign police cars showing up, these special police, what I, I'm not sure what to call them. This is a Nissan, but there's quite a large presence of these standing guard around the perimeter. We've also lost our ability to fly drones really anywhere near this area. Now, this 20 second clip here that I, I tried to get out of my car and show what was going on, I was almost immediately after these 20 seconds, National Guard came, chased me off, yelled at me, told me to get back in my car and keep moving. So you cannot pull over. You can't even stop your car anywhere near any of this anymore. Now, I'm going to show you a fairly long clip that shows just the how extensive the fencing is on the western side of the main highway here. And there also is National Guard, regular police, and what I have dubbed special police, which are these police cars that are foreign made. Uh, the people that are driving them are not, they don't look like any police I've ever seen in the United States. So kind of a bizarre situation, but they have all, they have a, a huge presence standing guard ensuring that nothing can be documented. You can't stop your car. You can't pull over. You can't fly a drone. You can't take a picture. You can't get in anywhere near any of this, which is part of what makes the footage that I have so unique. Now, I always make sure to point out that the footage that I have has been uploaded to the mainland to multiple people. They have the credentials to my social media. So if anything does happen to me, it's not going to prevent the story getting out. But the footage I have both uh, on the ground and, uh, in, and drone, but particularly on the ground, is not going to be able to be reproduced with the amount of resources they have put into locking this area down.